So here we are at the new construction, checking out any potential damage. As you can see, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Interestingly, we see alligator tracks here. So I'm going to kind of lead you in here. You can see this, um, the line going up. That was his tail. You can see the footprints. Right there is his big footprint. So his tail line... I'm following the tail line in the sand here. You can see that. So some muddy put footprints, some disrupted footprints, but some are really captured pretty good. You can see his footprint there, but his tail was dragging, as you would expect from an alligator. And you can see that uh, you can see the mark in the sand. So he was back. He, we, I'm going to take you back to the lake. You can still see, I'm going a little quicker here because this is a lot of um, rocky area, so not as distinct of prints, but every, you can see that line all the way in the sand, that was his tail. I told Mike, we're not going across the street, I don't need to run into him. In a neighbor's swimming pool. Uh, here's his tail, here's his tail line. Because we were like, Mike picked up the first footprint, so. We do see a turtle. There's a little bit of a footprint there. Lighter, uh, shallower sand here between the houses. And here's his, kind of lost his tail mark here. But I'm going to take you to the neighbor's pool. And, and here's the neighbor's pool, which is filled with water. There's a chance. Here's another. He was up this way, because you can see these long lines. Um, but we have a, uh, a neighbor's pool. Now he's gone. No, he's not. You can see the little turtle down there on the pool steps. I kind of feel bad. Hopefully nobody, and hopefully there's not a gator in the bottom of that pool, but we don't know that positively. So we're not going to be, we're going to be a little cautious here. Um, here's the side of our house, our lanai. Here's our little lake aka pond I call it so he looks like he could have gone into the pool and come out of I don't know how he unless he's really big and he just climbed up on the side because that what is about what two and a half feet from the right. water line yeah. to the top of the pool so here's his tail line again we see that and now you can see these paw prints right there uh, yeah, Mike's putting his hand down just to give you a comparison. So as he keeps saying, he's a big boy. He's a big boy, not just my Mike, but the gator. Here's another big indented paw uh, footprint. So this tail line came up from the banks of the lake. Here's another paw print. It's not as deep, but it's there. I just, we just find this stuff fascinating being from the Midwest. I don't know where his tail, oh here, his tail line, his tail line, it's really hard to see, but you, if you follow me, we're all the way over here. I'm going to pause and just show you our pool. They got the coping down, the back of our house. And then here's our pool. We have, you can see the bottom, it's, it's, it's a lot of mess. They got to clean up to spray that liner in there. But we're going up here, so he kind of came out. All right, so he did a little turnabout here, but you can see right here is his tail line, and again, a couple of the paw prints right there. Here's one right here. I'm going against the way he came, and then here's the, the bank and the lake. So we know we got gators back here, and somewhere it's supposed to be the fence line for Indy and I'm not real comfortable right now with that uh, five foot fence I don't know if a gator's on the other side and she's barking at it I I don't think I'm gonna be I would never leave her out unattended but nonetheless um, kind of worries me all right so that's our adventure we um, don't have any damage other than we have do have a cracked window on the side that's hurricane glass windows so maybe that's how it works they just crack um, <clears throat> with impact but there's a lot of tiles like in that pile is our coping they haven't finished it um, any of those could have blown and shot through the air there's still a lot of roofing tiles just laid on top of the roofs um, 
all in all, up this far, we were lucky we didn't get a um, flooding or more damage, I should say. So I'm going inside, as long as I've got the video on, five minutes worth here. <coughs> Our new kitchen area. I'm not sure what this would be the traditional dining area. Our family room. We have the three double sliders, and then this area off to the side we added from the outside space. So I think we're gonna use that as the dining. Um, coming through right between the family room and the other old dining is our bath our, our bedroom, master bath. We have a couple vanities that are going to be split vanities here. Water closet, water closet, uh, hallway to the bedroom, two closets, walk-ins, and then we have our um, master bath, our master bedroom here, um, or main bedroom as they call it now. They don't call it master. I had the door added. I like a lot of light. Um, back out around. Coming out of the bedroom area is going to be the main living area. And then we go down the hall to the front door. I think all total we have about 2,600 square feet in this house, which is fine for the two of us for the most part. Our den going towards the front door. We make a quick right. There's a utility closet, mechanical closet. Here's, oh, they got the uh, tile done. Nice. Here's the tile bathroom our main guest bedroom um no no cabinetries in yet uh here's gonna be the main bedroom area i like the bay window bow um whatever you call that closet <clears throat> yeah i kind of like that tile i can't remember it's been almost a year since i picked everything um nice i like it i like it and they put in that little niche Okay, and then the last part is going to be the powder room area going off to the right. Nothing's in here to show. It's just the room. Drywall's up. Powder room is what I just showed. Here's our second guest room. These are both ensuite guest rooms. Uh, a closet, and then, oh, no lighting in here, but we do have... We kept one bathtub. We made the other guest room shower only. So yeah, I like the uh, I like the tile. It's hard to see, but it's pretty. I can't remember. Oh, what a mess! It's hard to believe this will be habitable. Hopefully soon. And then our laundry room going from there right outside to the garage. So we have a like a walk-through laundry room. So that's it, guys.